At the risk of sounding like I hate everything, I strongly dislike certain aspects of Christmas. What up the amazing person currently watching this, it's Bass Pick AKM. And I figured, you know what, tomorrow is Christmas Day, why don't I ruin your illusions of Christmas the day before? Just like a parent that, that tells their child that Santa doesn't exist. Too real, too real. So I thought I'm going to make a list of reasons why I personally think that Christmas is slightly overrated. And this is coming from someone who loves Halloween. So take this how seriously as you want it. But yeah, number one, food. I really don't think I comprehend how much I eat during Christmas. And no, I'm not talking like Christmas Day. No, I'm talking from like, from December like 20th to January like 20th. That whole time frame, I'm just constantly going, damn, why have I gained all this weight? Let me just quickly rethink of everything that I've eaten and all the food products that I've gotten, and let me just try to figure this out real quick. Honestly, was Christmas just designed to make people gain a heck of a lot of weight? Because seriously, the amount of times on Christmas Day where it's embarrassing that I've actually had to undo my jeans not in that way, but just to alleviate the pressure so I could eat more food is actually alarming. Like straight out, a doctor could be right next to me and go and all like, you know, you could actually die if you eat one more piece of food and I'd be like, boy, it's Christmas, don't tell me what to do. So it's not really alarming the amount of food that I eat. Number two, presents. Not gonna lie, presents stress me out and I wanna point this out, not me receiving a present because straight out I'm one of those people who when I say the thought that counts I genuinely mean it but giving presents nah -uh, that's a different story altogether for starters you've actually got to think about what the person would want and that's gonna be hella difficult for me considering I'm literally like Dory ask anyone I'm literally like Dory I forget things really quickly which is a huge issue when it comes to buying presents for people because honestly they could be all like you know, I really like, you know, Star Wars or something like that, like the 100th movie that they've made of it, or the 8th movie, I actually do not know where they're up to, but they could be like, oh my god, I just bought this Star Wars movie, like the 8th one, I'm like, epic, I know they like the 8th movie, I'ma buy that for them, without comprehending that they just said they bought it. That is me, which is a real issue, let me tell you. But no, there's even more to that, is watching them actually open it, you're just sitting there in anticipation going, are they going to like it? Are they going to hate it? What happens if they hate it? Are they going to return? Are they going to get their money back? Honestly, you do not know what their reaction is. And honestly, I never get subtlety, but I can so tell when someone is faking that they're happy with something. Because, you know, they do the whole, um, like, opening it and they make this face the whole, thank you. They make that face and you're like, no, 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 that thank you was insincere. Just tell me you didn't like it. I'll return it get you the money and then you can buy it and that's the other thing i hate i really hate it when someone in all honesty i would prefer to actually have a present that i dislike than getting money as weird as that sounds but honestly when i feel like you just give someone money it's just like you put no thought into it it's just kind of like you know what i don't want to think you get what you want which sometimes is not a bad thing but honestly i would prefer to get like an itunes voucher or like 50 dollars in cash than a gift voucher to a store because nine times out of ten, anything that is what I want either exceeds the amount or just below it. So I end up with like a dollar or even like five cents on the card and I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do with it? And then I have to use cash as well as the five cents and bro, you're just creating problems for me. Three, the shopping centers. Yes, in Australia we call them shopping centers. In America you call them malls. I don't really know what they call where you are, but shopping centers here in Australia at Christmas, my God. And I know... This is not something specifically for Australia or specifically just, you know, like it's a world thing. But I swear to God, retailers here in Australia are hella smart when it comes to Christmas. Because let, let me just paint you a picture real quick, right? So say, for example, you go into the store or Happy and you see an item that's for $10. I don't know what item would cost $10, but use your imagination for what would cost $10. And honestly, like a week before, no, two weeks before Christmas, they will up the price to like 15 or even $20. So then when it's Christmas time, like five days before, they drop it back down to 10, making you think that it's half price. Now, yes, it kind of is considering it was at 20, but then it drops down to 10 and you're just like, boy, was this not originally 10? 
But in all honesty, I ain't mad at retailers because that's actually kind of smart and they're not breaking any types of law. So do you appeal to the customers around this time? And the other thing is, why do people tend to leave everything to the last minute? Like, honestly, I do not think there has been one, like, Christmas Eve, like, Christmas, like, five days before the actual day where the malls are jammed packed to the point where I'm like, I'm actually going to stay home. For the next five days because it's on like if I wanted to go to a zoo I would go to a zoo why am I going to a mall and I'm seeing like Jumanji happening like what's going on right now but with all that being said I actually do really like Christmas I do prefer Halloween not gonna lie but I do really like Christmas and I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day tomorrow or the next day or even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have an amazing day regardless. So this is the song I'm currently obsessed with. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment something positive, and there should be a subscribe button that side. Please press that. I would love to feel part of the musical family and Octopus's Garden. Other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. And out. Peace. Love. Rock on. Bye. Welcome to Octopus's Garden. Australian Christmas is a hot as hell and my shirt is also awesome. So yeah.